to another vlog. Today it is Saturday morning, one of my favorite times of the week. You guys know I love Saturdays and making pancakes with Brandon and watching some kind of home show. Usually we watch HGTV, but we've been loving the show Stay Here on Netflix. It's really, really good and it's short, so it's nice if you like have stuff to do just to take a little break. But yeah, it's been a really nice slow morning and it's the day before Easter, so I am just getting in the mood. Yesterday was Good Friday, obviously, and we had church service last night, just virtually. We just did it last night. Um, it was super nice, so I feel like I'm in a good headspace and Yesterday, I actually um, took the day off of social media. Michelle Reed posted on her Insta story that she was going to do a little social media fast on Good Friday to block out the noise, and I decided to join her, and it was so nice because the day before that, I felt like I was just getting really anxious and wrapped up in social media, and I've been really distracted lately just because my mind is always running and thinking about the current situation and not going on social media really did help me you guys know i absolutely love instagram and social media in general obviously but it is really nice and important to have those days where you can kind of unplug and let your mind rest because there's always something new to check and you know get your mind racing so it's nice to kind of take a break from that but i'm really excited to have some Easter festivities today and tomorrow. I'm just trying to make the most of it and gonna have fun. And I wanted to show you guys some things that I ordered from Target because I just got a package in and I have a little Easter basket I made for my niece and my nephew. My nephew is a baby though, so he can't, he's literally, how old is he? He was born in December, so he's only about four months old. So <laughs> he's so precious, but my my niece will be able to actually really enjoy these things um and later today i want to put together a little easter egg hunt for brandon so that he can do it in the morning i did this last year and it's just it's more fun for me just to hide easter eggs and have him look for it so we're gonna do that later and i have a lot of stuff i want to cook and bake well, actually not that much stuff but i want to make deviled eggs like a classic little Easter treat and then I want to make hummingbird cupcakes I asked for some suggestions of what I should bake for Easter and lots of people said hummingbird cake or cupcakes and I thought cupcakes would be a little easier hopefully and I've never made these before but Brandon loves hummingbird cake which honestly I don't even know if I've had hummingbird cake and if you're unfamiliar basically it's like kind of a fruity cake so it has pineapple coconut what else um walnuts banana so it's a little more fruity with some cream cheese frosting so i think it'll be yummy but i'm a little nervous and then i'm also going to make vegan dark chocolate peanut butter cups homemade little peanut butter cups which is our favorite dessert peanut butter and chocolate is the best combo in my personal opinion so yeah we'll make those later today and if I don't finish it all I'll continue this vlog into Easter tomorrow when I continue my little baking festivities okay the first things I got from Target were coffee because we were running low on coffee so I ordered this organic Sumatra mandel mand healing man I don't know how to say that earthy and deep with a rich body Oh, it's already ground. I thought it was whole bean, but I guess I don't have to grind it now. So hopefully that's good. I've never had that coffee before, so I really don't know. And then I also ordered this Plumeria and Guava room spray. Let me put my coffee down. But basically you just spray it in your room to make it smell nice. And I ordered this online, so I didn't smell it in person. And I like it. I'm not like super, super crazy about it. I think the Plumeria... I need to look this up. I don't even know what Plumeria is, if I'm being quite honest. I think it's a flower because it is very... Yeah, it's a flower. It's very florally scented. And the guava is what really sold me on this room spray because they had different scents. And I sent one to my mom, so I need to ask her if she likes the scent that I got her. I think it was like, it was like coconut oil, I thought. It was something coconut or aloe. I don't remember exactly. But this is the Plumeria. 
they're so pretty but yeah so it does smell florally but i still like it but it's not like oh yum 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 so it's okay i'll definitely use it i don't need to return it or anything i hope i didn't just spray that into my coffee <laughs> that was sitting there i think it's okay <laughs> And then I also ordered this candle, which I am in love with. And I think it was only about $12 and I had a gift card for all of this. So I was just treating myself to some goodies, but it's this three wick candle. And for $12, that seems, yeah, $12.99. seems like a really good price for a three wick candle. At Anthropology, this would be like $40 probably. <laughs> so I thought it was a great buy and this smells delicious passion fruit and amber and i'm gonna put this on our coffee table i think it's gonna look really really pretty i would love to learn how to make candles because i love this container and i like would hate to just throw it out after i'm finished so if you guys have a good tutorial for how to make candles from scratch please let me know and then the next thing i ordered is this ever spring citrus and basil essential oil blend and if you've been watching my vlogs you may know that i recently bought a diffuser probably about a month and a half ago from target it's really cute i'll show you guys it later but i just have one essential oil right now and it's lemon and it's from walmart and people were like coming at me because i bought my essential oil from walmart saying like oh that stuff is like not even real essential oil it's not good quality or anything because apparently you want to get like good quality essential oils so thank you for educating me hopefully this one is good quality i really don't know i need to do more research but it is a clean brand. Everspring is a clean brand, so I'm hoping it's okay. And I got the scent, citrus and basil. So let's give it a whiff. Oh, that's nice. It's really nice. Oh my goodness, it reminds me of something. It reminds me of like a jelly bean. Kind of smells like a jelly bean. <laughs> Just like a classic jelly bean, but I like it. So I'll add that in my diffuser later. Okay, the last thing I ordered from Target, well, besides all this stuff for my niece, is this annie's homegrown snack variety pack because well i love food i love snacks and i like how annie's is kind of eastery because it's bunny like the whole like branding is bunnies and it came with three different snack flavors and my thought was to put these in the eggs i have but i don't know if they're gonna fit i'm really not sure but we have these little um, bunny grams and we have cheddar bunnies, so cute. And then we have just like Cheez-Its, but they're not bunnies, but they're still gonna be so yummy. Cheez-Its are like my favorite snack ever, so tasty. Um, and then for my niece, I'm gonna put some of the snacks in here too, but I got this really cute Easter basket and then I already filled it up, so I'm not going to kind of mess it up, but I also got this little um, bunny putty, and so it's just like silly putty, but it's in this cute little bunny container, so she can play with that, and then I got these finger puppets, which my, my nephew, who's only four months old, he'll be able to enjoy these a bit, I think, because it's zero plus age, so you can play with them, and... Michelle, my sister-in-law, can do little shows for him. So cute. And then I also got these little grow chicks. So basically, you just put them in water and they grow. So fun. And then bubbles, because she loves bubbles. So I just gave them a lot of these, because they've been spending a lot of time in their backyard, just trying to stay busy and stay having fun, entertaining kids during this time while you're staying at home. I have so much respect for everyone who's doing that. That is definitely very exhausting, but I hope you guys are enjoying lots of family time together. So I'll stick some of the little snackies in there. And then they actually texted us last night saying that they wanted to come by and like just drive by our apartment. And so we can like wave to them and see them from the car because it's hard with kids when you want to like hug them and stuff. Um, but if they're in their car seat and in the car, like it's easier for them to like to say hi and not run around and stuff. So I think I was gonna just drop this off at their house tomorrow on Easter, but if they come by today, I can just throw it in their trunk and they can enjoy it a day early. So we shall see. So these are the eggs I have. Oh, they just texted us. 
okay so they're gonna come at 3 p.m instead of in the morning which is totally fine um but i have these eggs from last year <laughs> do you guys think these are gonna fit <laughs> i have to say i don't think so but i don't want to squish it either yeah there's no way there's no freaking way <laughs> not even close oh my gosh that is too funny oh well that's totally fine so i'll just hide the eggs oh maybe i should put little notes in the eggs that'd be cute try to do that later but it's really fun also i have these bunny ears which i don't even remember what they're from probably my mom this is totally something my mom would like give everybody i think she gave everybody a pair of bunny ears last um last year oh my gosh i think i see a bald eagle in my window one second on the trash can with the vultures totally a bald eagle do you see it yeah that's so crazy right this is my outfit of the morning Definitely cozy but Eastery with the little pastel PJs. I got these PJs last year around Easter from Forever 21. So unfortunately, I don't think they're available anymore, but definitely going to keep them for a long time to come. And they came with a matching little crop top. So that's fun, but I wanted a little something more cozy this morning. So I wore this little pullover sweater from Express. Of course, I got my gold jewelry on as always. And Actually, in a few minutes, I have a virtual birthday party for my childhood best friend. We've been best friends since we were four years old. And we have matching hats, little cupcake topper. I don't have a cupcake yet. I am going to make them later, either today or tomorrow. Um, but I, I have to find something to stick the cake topper in. I think I might do... We have an extra pancake from breakfast, but I might do my grapefruit because I haven't eaten my grapefruit yet. Wait, that's such a good idea and that'll be easy to stick it in. So really excited for that. That's going to be at 1045 and it's 1035 right now. So got a little while and then it's time to celebrate her. Okay, I got my little <laughs> cupcake topper and my grapefruit. I got my hat on. Can you see me in that mirror? Ready for the birthday party? I'm so excited. She has no idea, so this is very exciting. The virtual birthday party was so fun, and now I'm having a little lunch. Just made some quinoa with asparagus and some Parmesan cheese and lemon juice. Brandon is working really hard on his grad school homework. He said it's pretty tricky, but he's a genius, so he's got it. Also, I put out these Cadbury dark chocolate eggs yesterday, and wow, they are so yummy, and they smell so good. Our whole apartment pretty much smells like dark chocolate candy, so we're loving it. It's very tempting, though. Try not to eat the whole bowl in one day. Okay, it's time for our daily afternoon iced coffee. <laughs> Brandon's excited. <laughs> he needs it he's been working so hard on his grad school homework he said it's been kind of tricky i don't even i wish i could help him but i don't even remember how to do like multiply without a calculator so i am so bad at math um but yeah so i'm gonna make some iced coffee and then i gotta start cooking and baking i don't know if i'm gonna make all three things today the deviled eggs the hummingbird cupcakes and the peanut butter cups because that's kind of a lot. Um, but I did spend 14 hours last week making croissants, so this should be a piece of cake compared to that. But I think I'm gonna make the chocolate peanut butter cups first because those are like, I mean, we're gonna eat them and share them with family tomorrow, but I feel like those are the less likely to go bad in the meantime, if that makes sense, because it's not really dairy or anything. So that's what I'm gonna start with and then tackle the other two. Okay, this is the recipe it looks heavenly oh my goodness look at that peanut butter 
and I'll make sure to link all the recipes I'm using down below in case you want to recreate them. I feel like you could make this with even less ingredients, but I'm kind of going all out. Oh my gosh, that's such a sad ad. Don't look at that. wrappers off and see what they look like these honestly didn't take long to make at all so that is good stuff it's kind of tricky to get off got some peanut butter i need to freeze it a little longer but they're cute Love it. Better than Reese's. Our brother and sister and niece and nephew just drove by so we could say hello and I could give Aubrey her Easter basket and it was so fun. Now we're back upstairs in our apartment and I'm gonna have a snack. I just got these daily crunch snacks in the mail. My friend Jen, she's an intern for them and I haven't tried them yet, but they look so delicious. This is just the classic one. So it has salt-free, oil-free, just nuts, sprouted almonds. So yummy. But she also sent over a few other ones. So we have these Daily Crunch coffee-soaked sprouted almonds, which I'm so excited about. And then these Cherry Berry Nut Melody. But <laughs> I just wanted the plain like saltiness because I've been having so many sweets today. So now I am going to tackle my deviled eggs. I'm really excited and I actually am kind of craving some right now. So I'll probably taste test a couple after I make them. I just made some guacamole to snack on while I work on these eggs. So yummy. We love guacamole in this house. taste super yummy I kind of went a little heavy on the paprika but I think they are really nice and I even um, put them um, I even like used a froster thing to put them in nicely so we're just going all out for Easter it's time to try out my new essential oil I'm really excited I usually always turn our diffuser on at night like around sunset because it just kind of relaxes me and makes our apartment smell fresh and nice so put a little drops in here i already have water in it mmm yummy 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 and like i said this diffuser is from target and i'll link it below you can change the colors so it just automatically goes to that color but you can change all these colors or you could just do no colors and you can also change it so that right now it's just like giving out the water diffused water Ooh, that looks cool <laughs> diffused water all the time but if you do this setting it does it every 15 it does 15 second intervals so sometimes i do that and then turn it off so i'm just gonna do the main setting and put the cozy little light on that's all I've got in me for today though. Brandon just got out of the shower and I'm gonna hop in the shower myself, wash my hair, get all fresh for Easter tomorrow. And I will check in with you guys in the morning when I make the Easter, the, um, what's it called? The hummingbird cupcakes and when I hide Brandon's eggs. So I'll talk to you guys soon after church. We're gonna wake up early for 
a sunrise service. So I'm excited about that in our living room. But I mean, we can open the windows to watch the sunrise. And then tonight we're just gonna watch Coco, the Disney Pixar movie. Brandon's never watched it. So he's really excited and I'm excited for him to see it. It's such a cute movie. So just gonna have a relaxing night, wake up early and make those cupcakes. So I'll see you soon. They turned out so so yummy and we topped them with some sweetened coconut around like it looks like a little nest and I have a dark chocolate Cadbury egg I'm happy I got to show you guys my hummingbird cupcakes they turned out really tasty and yummy and tropical so lots of fun flavors and textures so highly recommend them again I'll link the recipe down below but this morning we've just been hanging out with family and doing zoom calls and had church service and it was all super sweet and brandon he's been working really hard on his grad school homework today actually that's what he's doing currently so he's just right outside i still haven't done an easter egg hunt but maybe i will later i did just get ready though and changed to a little easter dress even though we're at home and still got my slippers on but this dress is so pretty and florally so i wanted to put it on just put myself in a good mood but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog again i hope you had a lovely easter if you celebrate and just stay healthy and i love you guys so much and cannot wait to see you soon bye